What's up guys, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel and first of all, first and foremost, I just want to say I am so sorry for not getting a video out much earlier than I am now. I had a video planned and the file got corrupted and screwed up because my computer shut off before it was done rendering and that screwed up something. But anyway, I am so, so sorry that I wasn't able to get a, sorry, hiccups. Uh, get a video out to you guys earlier. You guys certainly deserve better than this, and I will, I promise you, I will do my best to do better at it. But that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to take a quick moment to apologize and reaffirm to you guys that I am here to stay, and I ain't going anywhere, so you're stuck with me. But, uh, yeah, today I wanted to talk about a teaching that essentially teaches that God only speaks through the Bible, and frankly to put it bluntly debunk it because it's not true now before I go into it I want to preface this with God's primary way of speaking now is the Bible because now we have the complete Bible we have the Bible translated and pretty much I don't think it's in every language quite yet but it's in, it is in nearly every language that we know of so we have the Bible in its complete entirety we have it in so many different languages. So yeah, the Bible is the primary way through which God speaks. But that doesn't mean it's the only way that God speaks. And even though this is, you know, it's from a personal experience thing, I'm definitely not going to only include that. But I do want to talk about my own personal experience uh, just with the Holy Spirit and so on and so forth and how he's helped me decipher things that were written in the Bible that... I could not have figured it out without his guidance. And, like, for example, there are a lot of wars in the New Testament, a lot of killing, and a lot of, basically, a genocide of a lot of different people. And at first I was like, okay, why is God letting this happen? But then I came to learn, for example, a lot of these nations were practicing horrible things, just child sacrifice, just so many horrible things. And these weren't small nations, these were very powerful nations that if left unchecked or left not dealt with essentially, they would have spread. And that those practices would have spread with them and they could have spread anywhere they would have wanted to unless they were dealt with at the time that God told the Israelites to deal with them. So, without, you know, without the Holy Spirit to tell me that, for a while, I was, I, I shouldn't say without the Holy Spirit, because I still have the Holy Spirit, but without the Holy Spirit, uh, without really communing with the Holy Spirit yet, to the extent that I should have, I was kind of just at a big uh, rut, I guess I should say, with wondering why would God allow this, but then the Holy Spirit revealed to me that if these practices and these people were left not dealt with, these practices would have infected the entire world. You would have child sacrifice, you would have so many uh, other heinous and ridiculous and horrible practices spreading throughout the entire world. The Holy Spirit helps us learn the deeper meanings of the Bible. Without the Holy Spirit speaking to us, we would only know the bare basics of the Bible and, you know, once we become Christians, we don't really know the depths of the truths in the Bible and how much they can apply into how many different situations they can apply if we really ask the Holy Spirit for guidance. We don't really know any of that stuff unless we talk to the Holy Spirit, unless we commune with Him and treat Him as a friend as He is to us. We need to treat Him the same as a friend. And we need to ask him for this advice. And, you know, we just need to rely on him. But that goes back to the Holy Spirit speaks. Uh, and something that I can, again, vouch from personal experience is that God speaks through dreams. For example, I once had a nightmare. This is when I was going through a really hard time of anger and a lot of just anger and hatred for somebody which I am ashamed to say but uh, anyway and I had a dream that I was I woke up as a monster 
sounds ridiculous, I know, but just hear me out. I woke up as a monster, went on a killing spree, um, and confronted the person who I wanted to kill in the dream, also in the form of a monster and so on and so forth, and he ended up killing me, and, well, we ended up killing each other, but basically the whole message of the dream was, was that my anger was just destroying me and beginning to warp me into a completely different person. And without the Holy Spirit's knowledge and guidance, I wouldn't have gotten the meaning of that dream, and I would have... I still have anger issues towards certain people that I'm still learning to get rid of. But if I didn't have the knowledge that the Holy Spirit imparted to me about that dream, then I would have just kept going into a downward spiral until, maybe not physically, but, I mean, in my heart, I would have essentially become a monster who maybe would have done some very bad things due to my anger and so on and so forth. So in anger, uh, in order to know that I needed to reassess myself and let God take care of this and not hold on to the anger as deeply as I was, I needed the Holy Spirit's guidance to show me that. And, of course, this is me talking about how God speaks through dreams, but that kind of leads into my next point. I'm, I don't even remember if I already made this point, but I'm going to make it again if I haven't, is that God speaks through the Holy Spirit. And, of course, a lot of people hear that, but they don't understand the depth to which the Holy Spirit speaks. The Holy Spirit, first of all, is the one who inspired all the authors of the Bible to write the Bible, hence why it's divinely inspired, because the Holy Spirit is God. And so he inspired the writers through talking to them and telling them what to write to write the Bible. And because of that, we got the Word of God. So without the Holy Spirit, the Bible would not have been written. And another thing that the Bible teaches us is that the Holy Spirit is always there looking to guide us through every activity in our lives and to constantly make sure that we are keeping ourselves in check and relying on Him. He speaks to He wants to commune with us in every activity we do. He wants to talk to us. He wants to be our friend. The Bible says that, I keep looking over here because the Bible's over here. Uh, my Bible's over here. But the Bible says that the Holy Spirit wants to be our friend and we want to, He wants to commune with us and we should commune with Him. And the whole point of communing is talking. And of course, when the Holy Spirit talks, it's to impart God's thoughts to us. It's to impart God's knowledge and God's wisdom and God's love and compassion, all the things that God knows and is to us. So when we say that the Bible is the only way that God speaks, we're completely just stomping on that and saying it's wrong when it's there, it's taught in the Bible that a lot of people claim is the only way that God speaks. And yet the Bible clearly says that God speaks through many different things. Uh, he speaks through creation, as I think I already said. I've probably already said the, most of these things a hundred times. But, hey, they need to be reiterated because this is a very big teaching, but it's so clearly wrong. God speaks through people and experiences. And God, as I said, God speaks through people. Uh, I've had many times in life that I was in a position where I just needed to hear some kind of encouragement. Oftentimes it was like a specific thing that I really wanted to hear. Sure, as sure as day, uh, someone, at many, many different people, often, I don't, anyway, uh, it was, someone always came up to me and said exactly what I needed to hear without any prior knowledge that I needed to hear it. That's God telling them that I needed to hear it, and they told it to me, because they were following God just like I was. So God speaks to people to help our needs and to help their needs, uh, and he speaks through people. I'm sorry, this has gone on blabbering, but, you know, I've decided to embrace my blabberiness because it's authentic, and frankly, when I'm not worried about blabbering, that's when I tend to, when I'm able to say what God has put into my heart the most is when I'm not worried about babbling. I just say it and make whatever edits I need to and just do whatever I need to to make it as entertaining and insightful as possible. But yeah, basically God does speak 
through people. He speaks through situations, such as, uh, you know, a situation where you get yourself in trouble, and even if you don't learn from the initial consequences of the action that you did that got you in trouble, God will tell you why you got in trouble and what you need to do better. God has done this for me personally more times than he probably should have had to, considering I've been a Christian for, uh, let's see, since I was 13, I'm 22 now, uh, nine years. Yeah, I'm good at math, but anyway, God speaks through situations in many different ways. There are just so many clear ways that God speaks, and I don't know how long this video has been going, but I hope you guys found some kind of insight throughout all this blabbering, and hopefully my foolishness brings glory to God, because as the Bible says, those who are fools for Christ are better off than the most knowledgeable of people in the world, so... I hope my foolishness will bring some wisdom to you guys. So I thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And I want you guys to share different ways, whether it be through the Bible or not, uh, just different ways through which God has spoken to you. Because I know for a fact that I'm missing some things that I had in my hand earlier, but just forgot because my mind is weird. But anyway, yeah, I want you guys to share how God has spoken through you and to you. And, yeah, just keep keep sharing the love, and I love you guys so much. Please don't take my lack of videos as me not loving you guys, because I, you guys have changed me on a personal level, not only as getting better as a YouTube, but on a personal level. Just being able to commune with you guys and to see all your love and support, it's changed me. And I am eternally grateful for that. I truly am. So, yeah, uh, I keep blabbering. Just share what God has, uh, how God has spoken to you and what he's done for you and so on and so forth. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, video suggestions, so on and so forth, they, mm, mm, feel free to share those in the comments down below. I'm sorry, my throat's hurting. Uh, if you'd like to support on Patreon, be sure to support on there if you want and... I just want to clarify that I know there were words on there I basically seem to suck, but first of all, I do want to reiterate that, you know, one of the rewards is I'll follow you and, on anywhere and subscribe to your channel, and so on and so forth. That Those things go a long way, guys. And that's not to make an excuse for myself. There will be better rewards when I'm able to give them, but that's the reason they're not there, just because I'm not in a place where I can give them right now. I don't have them. And you guys deserve them. And I will get to working on being able to have them. I've been looking for a job for I don't know how long. And, you know, I got my degree um, a while back. And hasn't done much for me yet. But, you know, once I get a job, I will be able to supply you guys with many rewards. And I want to see this channel just skyrocket as far as bringing people to Christ. Or people learning about Christianity even if they have no interest in coming to Christ, just learn, take the time to learn about what we believe and, you know, why we believe. And, of course, my ultimate hope is for you to come to faith. But even if you don't, even if, you don't, even if you're just here to learn about Christianity, I love that. I love that kind of open-mindedness. So, please, don't feel obligated to, you know, try and... Even uh, That didn't make any sense. I hope you do find something out of it. But anyway, yeah, even if you're not here to uh, have some guy preach to you about coming to faith, uh, just learn. come to learn about Christianity. Come to learn about us guys and what we believe in. And I think I've rumbled on long enough, so I just want to take a quick thank you. Uh, take the time to make a quick thank you for all of your love and support. And again, I am so sorry. Uh... But yeah, some major changes are coming very soon for me, and whether it's good or bad, I don't know. But we'll see, so if you guys can keep me in your prayers as well, be greatly appreciated. And I keep hiccuping, and it is not savory or attractive in the least. Uh, I just hope, you, where was I? I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you all so much. If you would like to hit me up on any of my social media accounts, 
I'll put those all in the description, as I probably already said. I'll